Hi fellow traders. I hope everybody had a good day today. And we had a, another one of these crazy days in the market. Um, we're all sitting on pins and needles waiting to see if Congress is going to repeal the Health Care Act and replace it or the Affordable Health Care Act and replace it. Um, and there's just conflicting stories coming out that they were, we were going to vote today and we're going to vote tonight and we're going to vote tomorrow and we may wait till next week. Uh, we do have the votes and the support to pass it and some say they don't have enough so we just have to sit back wait and see but the good thing is the market did make some moves today and we're going to look at it uh, here in a little bit when we go over our um, my trades but it's pretty interesting I think that's going to be the next major event that's going to move the market you know Tuesday we were sitting there and the spy started selling off and everybody got excited and we had a lot of volatility a lot of opportunity to make some money in the market you know we had that solid day so moving forward I think the next time we get that you know we're gonna be looking for it to continue we're not gonna look for the next day to recover and start trading sideways and all that stuff so just keeping an eye on that I think that's going to be the next major event that's going to happen um just a reminder we do have the morning show Monday through Fridays from 8 30 to 9 all you need to do is you can go to my website average Joe trader right on the home page you can click on the morning show and it'll take you directly to where you need to go um, once you go one time you can bookmark it or you can come back and click just click on the button and it'll take you there now Wednesdays we extend the morning show and we call it sneak peek Wednesday you get to come in and spend an hour with us or really two hours with us in chat and I have a designated room for you guys that can come in and you see the same screen share that you see in chat. Um, I get to interact with you guys there and you hear me interact with the members in the chat room. Um, also, I think YouTube has got it fixed. I did stream live this morning. Um, so I'll continue to stream it live on YouTube as well because I know some people can't if they're at work, they may be able to get YouTube, but they can't get Webinado or vice versa. So it'll still be coming in both places. So I'm trying to get as many of you guys able to watch it um, as I can. So keep that in mind. Um, now, Saturday, we're starting the day trading class day trading the average Joe way this is a hundred percent live class with me direct instruction um, is interactive meaning you will have access to screen share and the microphone it's I tried to make this as close to a classroom environment as possible you know being a teacher I know and I understand the strategies that help you learn the strategies that can can reach all of the different types of learners and the best way to do it is to have an interactive class and not give you a DVD or a video and have you watch it and then send me emails that it just doesn't work that way so you're gonna learn to trade using the exact process and strategies that has made me successful it's repeatable I proved it time and time again that I can start with a small amount of money, $1,500, and build it up. Uh, if you saw my video this weekend, you can see I started this January. I started over again with $1,500. Now I've got right at $8,000 in there. And then we're going to start April at five grand. 
and we're going to grow it. And you're going to learn the same strategies that has allowed me to be able to do this consistently. It is repeatable and it is scalable. Those are the, the two key things. Now, it's 15 90 minute classes and it's limited to 25 traders per class because like I said, you get the microphone, you get screen share, we'll be sharing things with each other, we'll be talking and we'll be interacting. Um, but during this time, uh, the four months that the class is going on, you're going to have access to the chat room, which has weekly classes. So you will get an extra class on top of that every week as part of the chat room membership. Um, also, we do have two small group mentor sessions a month um, at a minimum. So you'll have access to those. So those weeks, you'll have two extra um, live classes. Um, you get access to a market replay platform simulator during the time that you're in the course so you can practice what we're talking about and what you're learning. You can send me screenshots of charts when you're practicing things. You can put notes on the chart, send me screenshots, um, and we'll have dialogue in between the classes. And the reason I do that, because you need to have access if you're learning something, you need to have access to your teacher. And this is another reason why I limit it to 25 traders because I want to make sure that I can give you the attention that you need while you're learning. It's very important to, to have that connection. Um, also, I encourage you to form private study groups where you guys when you can meet with like-minded traders, you can get together and y'all can talk about the issues that you have. You can talk about the trades that you took, things that you've come up with. Um, peer study groups are a very, very powerful strategy when it comes to learning. So I, I encourage that and I allow groups in, in the community, they can use the chat room at night. They log in and they can talk. They have access to the microphone, screen share, and it's just them. I'm only there if I'm asked to come and answer a question or two. But it's very, it is very powerful and it's very effective. Um, plus, you have lifetime access to the class. If, you know, I'm going to record every class. And with that, you will get access to those recordings for life. You know, that access won't go away. Um, any Really, I would want to where you could download it and keep it for as long as you, you need it. Um, and any time you need to come back and want to take the class again, you can do that. You know, free of charge. You just email me, I'll put you in, and you, you can come into class. So you have lifetime access to it. And if you need to take the class twice, if you go through and you feel you need to go through again, you have access to start with the next group. So it's, it's totally up to you. Now I did have a special for the next five people who signed up for the class would get the Day Traders Mindset Workshop free. But what I decided to do was everybody that signs up for the first class I will incorporate the workshop into the class. So you're going to get four extra classes. And we will work on how we're going to schedule that around our classes. Um, and that, and it's just for you guys. It won't be anybody else. It's just going to be for those who are in the class. So all of this is for $9.99. And... You know, for everything that you get, I don't think you can beat it. Um, but the first class is starting Saturday, so if you want to join, you want to you want to get in um, in the next couple days. I do have some some more room left, but we will be starting. And also, there is a a payment 
uh, plan option if you can't pay all of it at one time you can pay it over two months so let just email me and I can work with you on that so if you want to get started you know if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired if you're sick and tired of losing seeing red every day if you're sick and tired of not being able to make and follow a trade plan you know if you're sick and tired of not being able to manage your risk you know this is a class for you all right so let's look at a couple of trades this is a trade that i'm i really messed up on this morning and if you were in chat you heard me say more than one time i'm gonna wait for this to pull back and then i'll get in you know i was looking to take this long and unfortunately it just it didn't work um it it chopped me out before it actually made the move that i was looking for and i was looking for it to you know move up to around 23.40, 23.50s. And I was going to hold it all day because I expected it to grind up. And I got in and I felt that, okay, well, since I'm in early, I know we're going to get a pullback and possibly a recovery. So I got in and I didn't put a hard stop in yet because I, I was waiting on it to test. So after we got this candle, I should have taken it off here. Um, as soon as we close below these moving averages and then this candle open, I should have closed it out. But we opened and it looked like we were going to kind of recover. So I just kind of held on to see if we were going to get back over this. So we printed this and I, was, and I still had hope that we were going to get up there. So the key word is hope because this is cl this closed below all of this resistance and it just could not get back over there at that time so I should have taken it off and then kind of reset myself but wasn't smart enough to do that and you can see me bring this chart in you can see that this is right where I got stopped out in here. We did sell off, but we had to bounce and we made the move that I was looking for finally. And my idea was not to really hold it, not to sell it. I was just going to hold it all day if we kind of stayed above the VWAP because I figured we had a, a push coming. The reason I saw that let me show you the daily chart I was looking at. And this is the daily chart. And what I, I saw was this level here. And I'm thinking, okay, we're going to get to this level. It may not be today. It may be tomorrow. And I was primed to really hold this overnight. Because I was looking for it to get here. Now I've got... I did long this on the um, 17th. I got in at 1935, which was right in here, in my speed trader account. So I am swinging this. This is a swing trade that I have in. And I'm looking for it to get here. But today I was looking for a day trade because after this day, and I saw the range on this candle, I figured we would get the range and possibly test this. That's what I was looking for it to get. But it shook me out here. We had the big sell off that I wasn't look anticipating. And that kind of took me out of the trade. And what it did was it made me hit my max loss in this account. So it's 150 is my max loss. I lost $160 on this. So I was done. You know, this account was locked. But I still have, you know, my original account that I started with way back when. Um, this is the account I opened up and started back in July. 
when I was going through the process. I was documenting, you know, how you the process you go through opening up a sure trader account and was gonna document any problems, any issues I had along the way. And that's the account that I've been working out of and that you know I've been downloading all the trades from ever since then and just keeping a record of everything in this account. So the next so I was trying to record some price action and some trades of my strategies for the the class so that I could play them while we're talking and you're learning the strategies in the class versus using the simulator uh, which we can use the simulator there's no problem with that but I like to show you know live trades when I can so here is uh, PTC now this was a stock that opened that ran up and it hit our reversal scan or may not have hit the reversal I think it hit the reversal scan or either it hit the um, the uh, RSI extreme scan I can't remember but something alerted me to this and I waited until we got under the 200 so I said this would be a good short I mean this candle really didn't scare me out it just made me wait until I saw we had a move below the 200 I could have gotten in here but I don't like to short into the VWAP into um, support at this time it was support so I don't like to short into support and you had the 9 the VWAP, the 20, and the daily 200 sitting right here. Not the daily 200, but the 200 from the 5 minutes sitting right here. So I waited, and what I was demonstrating was, you know, how I'm looking at level 2, how I'm watching, you know, to get my entry. And so I got in here. I got in... I did it again. I didn't do the time right. Um, I got in 300 shares, 53.95. You know, right under the 54. And my target was to take some off here, to take half off here. So it dipped down and pulled back, and it didn't hit my order. I had my order in a, a few cents below this level here and it did just what I wanted it to it dipped down and then got bought back up but so I waited and this candle kind of played around but it dipped down and it hit my stop so my next what well, hit my my bid here so the next target was going to be this area right in here it was going to be 50 around 53 but we had a good sell-off so I ended up holding it and I said well, we'll go to 5250 it never made it it pulled back and I ended up getting stopped out on a profit stop here so here was where I got out at I got out at 5350 here which was a half dollar mark and I got out here at 53.74. That was my profit target. So I waited for it to test this again. It's what I like to do. Let it test. And once I get the clear rejection, I'm going to get in. So I got in right on this 53.60 level. So I got back short here at 53.61. But I only took a hundred shares. I only took a hundred shares because I wasn't real sure about whether we were going to go back all the way up and test. My goal was to add, 
but it didn't go back up and I didn't add. So I ended up uh, taking it all off here at, where is it? 5305. So I got in at 5361 I took all 100 shares off at 5305 and I was gonna wait for the next pullback well I got a little bit impatient here and got in right here at 5281 and I got in at 200 shares this time and then it pulled back and tested the nine just like I had been waiting for but it never breached the nine. It never breached it. So as long as these stocks hold the technical level, I'm gonna give it. To, I'm gonna give it a chance to work. And so I held through this and covered some right here at 52.35. Yeah, covered half here at 52.35 and i was waiting and i let the last 100 shares i said i'm gonna let this fade until the evening as long as we don't push the 20 i'm gonna hold it on and see if we can get down to um, 51. there was a level here at 5110 there's a daily level here that i didn't draw back on this chart but and that was gonna be my target but we started getting a little bit later and a little bit later and this dipped down here and then got bought back up so I just went ahead and covered it here at um at 5140 but you can see I gave up 40 cents on this this thing really went all the way down to 51 so I really should have stuck to my target on it but I did get the meter to move, and that's all we're looking for. If we can get the meter to move, then we're going to be able to make money. Now, if you sit here and you start waiting to try and top tick and bottom tick stocks, then you're going to run into some problems. So what I did was I picked a logical point, and this happened to be where the lower deviation band was on the VWAP and that's why I picked that target I figured well it since it dipped down below it and pulled back up it may be bouncing I don't have time to hold through a bounce and let it come back but you know it did it did um go down on this this very next candle it gave me that move but all in all is a good trade this is a textbook trend continuation trade and this is one of the strategies that I teach it's kind of, it's foolproof okay if you learn this and you learn the proper risk management strategies you know it's foolproof you can make money on it you just have to execute and that's all boils down to when I lose money I lose money because I fail to execute which happened on this you know this cut half of my profits out that I made today because I fail to execute this trade properly even though I was telling everybody in chat I said it many times that I was gonna wait for the pull out pullback it didn't I didn't I took it early anticipated it and ended up getting stopped out so unfortunately that's what happened so we have to execute if we don't execute we can't um we're not gonna make money so if you have any questions please feel free to contact me this is all my social media information on the best email to get me at is ed at averagejoetrader.com uh, if you're interested in the class we'd love to have you you know I teach 
my motto is trade for skill, not for money. Because if you nail the skill, the money's going to be there at the end of the day. You trade for skill. You trust your technicals. And these are the things that I focus on and that which has made me successful. And no, not every trade I take is a winner. But if I execute and I do what I'm supposed to do and I stick to my risk management strategies, then I'm going to be fine. And at the end of the day, we're going to be green. I'm going to win that day. So what I like to teach you is first you have to win the day. And if you win the days, then you're going to win the week. You win the weeks, you're going to win the month. You win the months, you're going to win the year. And when you consistently do that and you consistently grow and start scaling up little bit by little bit, you're going to be on your own before you know it. And I can tell you this. I speak from experience. My journey is well documented in my blog from the time I started to, you know, where I am now. So I'm not telling you anything. I won't be teaching you anything I read in a book. It's going to be what I lived and what got me to, to where I am. So any questions, or anything, just give me a shout. I'm always here to answer your emails or, or chat whenever you need to. So feel free to uh, reach out. So I hope everybody has a great evening, a great night. Uh, we'll be looking forward to tomorrow. I hope I see you for our morning show. If you're not a member of chat, I hope to see you there. And before long, I hope to see you in the chat room. So see you. Have a great evening.